Time to do some sketchy shit. Do da, do da. Hope I get away with it. Oh, do do da day. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I had to play that because of the pregame show that was going on. <laughs> That's all right. Nobody's watching us anyway. Uh, uh, I should have waited till you had a had was drinking something for that one, Dan. <laughs> it wouldn't have mattered. Well, then Doug would know the answer about Dan. <laughs> 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 the answer would be blonde brunette or redhead thank you oh <coughs> oh oh crap i didn't get my light set hold i'll be right back it didn't do what? what a way to kill a show thanks Jeff. alexa play death metal no alexa play death metal she apparently doesn't like your voice all right, that's a little better. See, he's got earplugs in, so we can't tell his Alexa to do shit anymore. He learned that trick. Thank you, John. Uh, you can teach an old Joe dog new tricks, apparently. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Well, didn't take long for Donna to tell you, teach you how to sit up and beg, did it? First two weeks night. after the honeymoon, and uh, <laughs> you're kidding. First fucking night. <laughs> <laughs> first night, no fucking. Yeah. Well, I was gonna uh, say, is was that a verb or an adverb or an adjective? <laughs> I, mean, I, I think I think that was just an expletive. Um, <laughs> That's that one word that can be anything in the, in the english language usually it's a comma for me um i are not grammars okay. god i are grammar uh, i are editor thank you um not a good one but i are one um hmm, what are the witzmans are uh i imagine they're planning on doing something eastery I am not touching that line. Not even here. Not even in the green room am I touching that line. In the no. green room, I would just because I'm just that that bad of a person. But no, no, no. I'm not. I'm not going to imply that they're hiding eggs somewhere. Um, well, right. they are playing with chickens this week. I don't think that's exactly what I had in mind when I made that statement. Um, well, wait a minute. If it's Easter Sunday, Carl can't go do his shopping, can he? Why oh, he not? can go do. He can go do his shopping. The, the The store won't be open, but he can go sit in the parking lot till Donna gets tired and lets him go home. Hmm. 
And Monday is April 1st. Yes. Uh, is there yes. a behind the code on Monday, Joe? There is. <laughs> until you until you show up and find out there isn't. Um, Would you do that to me, Joe? Today yes. we're going to look into the wonders of the Alt F4 function. <laughs> I would never do something like that to you, Don. Want to get rid of anno annoying Facebook advertisements? <laughs> Just hit Alt F4. Uh, yeah, uh huh, Joe. I see how it is. If you're mean to me, I'll just have your wife come down and smack you for me. She'd probably do it. Yeah, he'd probably like it. Harder, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> if if you're gonna threaten somebody, don't threaten them with a good time. All right. <laughs> don't tempt my tummy with the taste of nothing, honey. <laughs> that, you know i i miss that show i, I never thought i would no, it never occurred to me that i might miss it one day i'm talking about the television show in living color it was a variety oh, oh. Show similar to Saturday I, I, in the same vein except it was funny um Oh, you mean Second City? Um. <clears throat> yeah, you know, there was this time where you started seeing a lot more black entertainment on television. The Arsenio Hall show, In Living Color. There were a few other shows at the time, too. Um, Sullivan. Um, uh, um, I, hey, 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 I was there. That's a different kind of black entertainment. It's very black. Um, Martha and the Vendellas, I'm sorry. Um, no, it's just, you know, he uh, he had that thing like he told Elvis Presley that he couldn't dance on his show. We don't need to. No, he told, he told Elvis he couldn't wiggle his hips, and Elvis did anyway. Did then, uh, Jim Morrison get on trouble in trouble on there too? Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, told told Jim Morrison. He changed his he lyrics. Just, yeah, yeah, you had have to clean up the lyrics so it doesn't sound suggestive. And Jim goes, okay. And they played the song and Jim, Jim did the Jim. lyrics as written. Yes. Uh, and walked off stage going, there you go, Tiger, follow that. Um, Coco Gigio. It's <laughs> really. There, there are some things a puppet mouse cannot possibly top, all right? I don't know. Uh, I've seen the Muppet Show. Rizzo does some really risky. Hey, things. hey, Rizzo's in a class of his own. <laughs> um, and, uh, believe me, the one on uh, Mash, was, the Rizzo on Mash, was in a class of his own too. Um, well, I told you, usually my, they were a medial class, but I told you my story is uh, they need to get the Muppets to do a, their rendition of Pink Floyd's "The Wall." With Gonzo's paint, um, I can just see it now. They're going. We don't need no education, and all of a sudden, lady bursts forth in the background and goes, "Hey, you guys!" No, that was Electric Company. Yes, I know. That's the joke, John. Catch up. Mustard. Too many crayons, not enough time. Uh, Wrong branch. <laughs> it doesn't matter in this case. <laughs> he, had, he had he had to socialize. Um, You're mixing genres. I, I, yeah, next I will. Thing you know, next thing you know, you'll recall Zoom. Um, I do recall Zoom, actually. I can even remember the, the zip code. Oh my God, John! Please stop. Get out of my head. Uh, only Richie's allowed to do that. Letters from Zoom. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I I can remember the tune. I just can't remember what they actually said. I can't remember the lyrics. Six zero eight one four. 
I think. I could be wrong. I'd be glad if I was wrong. Um, My favorite zip code is 37352. That's the one your, 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 your retirement checks come to. No. Jack Daniels Distillery. Oh. Hey, Chris. But you don't get samples there. It's a dry county. Yeah, you get samples. You just can't buy it. They can give away all they want. Okay, like cheerleaders. Okay. Dan, 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 Dan. Hey, there's a high school reunion coming up. Is it any wonder I'm not invited? So I wonder if they could sell the bottle for 25 bucks and then allow you to just go fill it yourself. No, they'd sell the full bottle for $25 and tell you you have to empty it yourself. But you can't empty it there because that's a safety violation. <laughs> I have been to so many OSHA meetings. I, I Pretty much I could write the speech. Um, oh, you're picking on me and my Alexa. Not now. You were. I'm still. No, they're picking on mine too. Alexa, how often do I aggravate you? Every time you open your fucking mouth. Alexa, volume 10. I can't hear you. Alexa, how often do I aggravate you? You never aggravate me, Joe Dog. You only make me want to unplug myself. You bitch. <laughs> Alexa, volume down to one. Uh, the only thing that picked up was when the, the volume had to go up. Oh, you're... you're Alexa, you're, volume you're, ten. Play that fiddle. <laughs> Alexa, Alexa, volume one. Volume ten. Alexa, silence. It's golden, golden. But my eyes. I think I actually just killed both our Alexas. <laughs> Alexa, volume one. Shut up, Joe. I, I didn't say anything. <laughs> you wanted to. I could see it in your face. <laughs> Siri. How often do I aggravate you? I found some web results. I can show them if you ask me. <laughs> oh, she's even got a chart and pie graph, huh? <laughs> Here, this is the last 15 minutes. Yeah. This, this is the last five days. <laughs> oh, God. I'm, I'm so glad that I don't even have the, the whatever the one is on the computer turned on Cortana. Uh, hey. I think they're discontinuing that aren't they I hope so I'm tired of turning the damn thing off I thought you'd like to turn women on I like to turn women on um electronic women they're harder to fiddle with <laughs> I don't know how I like that look. I succeeded. That's a point for me. Um, fiddle. Fiddle. Yes, fiddle with. Um, Joe, speaking of fiddling, did you guys do a new show title for Wednesday nights? Oh, we haven't talked about it yet. We had the Easter egg hunt today, and by the time we got done with that, we did not feel like doing a damn thing the rest of the day. Six hours of prep for 45 seconds worth of kids running around collecting Easter eggs, right? Pretty much. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm referring to? What I, I can't think of it. What what did Chris su suggest is the new name? I'd have to go back through the comments. Fiddling with fiber and fudging with... Oh. Uh, 
Oh, a lot please. of please, no, please don't 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 do that to me. Um, <laughs> there 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 are too many open ended parentheses in that equation. Um, ah, I could write an entire spreadsheet about that. Oh, what do we got here? Private chat. Um, three five zero Boston Mass. O oh, two one three. No, Send it to I mean, Zoom. Okay. Yes. I I did misremember the number. I yes. do apologize. <laughs> Yet be the keyword. Nineteen seventy two. Boy, we are old. I'll tell you what. Seventy-two. What's this, what's this wee shit, Kimasabi? I was going to say He is in gray beards. I have a gray beard. I haven't even hit 40 yet. I was born this way. Mom said it tickled. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor said that the glasses were the hardest part of the delivery. Um, wait, wait, Dan. <laughs> The glasses. Um, yeah. Can you do what you did last night? See if you can get the same reaction from anybody. <laughs> Spring. Um, no. <laughs> Why not? Hey, John's here. He can you, throw an ice cube down his back and see if he knocks over a table standing up. Um, That's what I was getting at. But your glasses. Oh, oh, no. Everybody knows that party trick. Yeah, I know, but you scared the shit out of everybody last night when you did it. <laughs> yeah, but that'll take the magic out of it, you know? Uh, I, I knew exactly what he was going to do. I said, yep, yeah, here it comes, here it comes. Yep, yeah, that's her. Because yeah. I, I know what the magic trick is, but most people, when they tap their glasses, they do it this way, and all of a sudden, you, you, you like to go from the other angle. Yes, I always like to approach things from the unexpected side. That's why I'm always not knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. I love the look on John's face as you're saying that, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, and John is trying to figure out what the fuck magic are you talking about. Oh, he he already knows. He already knows that. The, no, the, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to identify a sniper rifle. I'm sorry. Oh, um, <laughs> had nothing to do with you guys. Okay. No. I certainly <laughs> hope not. Um, <laughs> If it if it can reach from Chattanooga to here, I'm in trouble. Uh, and makes me wonder whether or not I've ever insulted John's mom before. Uh, don't she think has her own because I'm still alive. That beer's getting warm. Thank God I got another one sitting Drink by in the faster. cooler. Suck. Excuse suck. Me. Suck. Suck. Why would he be sucking on a beer? Why is somebody sucking on a chili dog? Outside of a tasty freeze. And it's, when was the last time you saw a tasty freeze? That's, you know. Um, there's one in commerce. Is um, well, there? Okay. Well, you, you used to be. Dogs, hmm? Do you see people out there sucking on chili dogs? No, I don't go to commerce. We, they were our football rivals. I don't go there. I don't want to get arrested for having a Madison County plate in Jackson County. No, I ain't stupid. I'd be like trying to drive the speed limit around 285 in Atlanta. You get arrested for that shit as being an impediment to traffic. And no, it's not the green room, so I cannot reply to that oh. suck it comment the way that my mind. Supplied the obvious reply. Okay, um, I'm reading an article about the Royal Navy, British Navy, is mm -hmm. uh, 
they're trying they're they're experimenting with using huskies to deliver ammo in the arctic circle well they have to experiment we already know it works canadians well, and us have been doing it for decades well the thing is i want it's it's the royal navy okay oh what kind of ammo are they delivering you know i mean is it right i can understand rifle ammo machine gun ammo stuff like kind that. are they like delivering supplemental you know, appropriation to the budget harpoon missiles or you know uh, torpedoes you know ammo covers a fairly wide spectrum for the navy john okay. paperwork covers a multitude of sins as i'm sure you know they're not actually going to do a study. They just need the budget for the study to do something they don't want to tell people. About. And they've got some weird looking huskies. Um, I had my husky at Home Depot today, you know, doing some leash work with her, walking with my cane, and I picked up some stuff. I needed uh, our hose busted, so I'm making two hoses out of it. So I'm carrying it in my hand with, you know, the leash and I'm walking. Somebody says, you know, you need to get a little vest for that dog to carry stuff for you. And I went. I'd never see it again. That's not a bad <laughs> idea. <laughs> I'd never see the dog again. Um, no, I, I have been told, don't put a choke collar on a husky. Use a harness. I'm going, no. <laughs> Only if you are really fond of skate dancing um, behind the harness going 35 miles an hour. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll be I'll be halfway across town before this dog quits running. <laughs> no. Believe me, if, if I tried to walk Kimber while we're wearing roller skates, I'd be in New Mexico before I could blink. I mean, that girl runs fast. And yes, folks, for those that aren't in the know, Kimber is a dog, a German Shepherd, okay? The one that is about the size of your two-year-old deer. Which means she's damn near taller than I am. Which is why we have a chain link fence to make sure that nobody shoots her in the woods. Because she's got the exact same coloring, just no antlers. Which, as I know, deer only develop seasonally. <sighs> I like my allergies. Oh, what was that? It was some show this guy was talking about him and his friend went out in the woods deer hunting and his friend made the worst mistake of all. He pulled a joke on his friend, turned around and went, nah, 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 nah. The second week of deer camp is the greatest time of year. Have you ever heard that song? No. Well, yeah, one time at hunting camp. Uh, Have you heard it, Joe? No. Huh. <laughs> Dan, you can see, just imagine being out in the woods to do that. I, I, Joe, I can see the entire um, <laughs> CBS series play for 13 episodes in my head. Um and yes, he was acquitted, um, but the audience hated it and never watched another one, uh, but they did watch the entire first season, so it got renewed. Um, oh, there's two new NCIS series coming. Why? How many damn things they going to have? Well, Nolans and Los Angeles, they don't have those anymore. They have Hawaii and Australia now, and then the original. Tony, so these... This one is Tony and Ziva. 
Tony and Ziva get back together. Tony runs a security company in uh Hello Donna. Europe. I Donna, we were concerned. Okay, so where's Tony and Ziva? In Europe. Okay. Raising the kid. Tali. The other series is NCIS Origins. Yeah, it's supposed to be the start of uh Gibbs' career. Gibbs. Yeah. Guess who's playing Gibbs? I don't, I don't know, but their origin is what Death in Paradise. Um, it, it's <laughs> it. It's got. Uh, Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Uh, it's where Gibbs is a probing and no Frank, attention to Don backing up to the curtain. And Frank uh, is the uh, is the leader of the team. Yeah. Guess who's playing Gibbs? It just blew my mind. Have you seen any of the NCIS episodes where they flash back to Gibbs as a young kid? And yeah, Gibbs. it's his actual son. That's who's going to play Gibbs. Really? Oh, Mark Harmon's son? Yeah. Nice. I now, what I want to know is who they're going to get to play Frank. Mike, yeah. Or Mike. Mike Frank. Mike, Mike. okay. Um, Mike, Mike Frank's. Frank. You were both right, John. Mm -hmm. And I wonder if they're going to have somebody like get into the whole thing when he was with Jenny. Yeah. No, I've never seen NCIS before. Can you tell? Have they said who who's going to play uh, Mike Franks? Uh, they've said, but the only one that caught my attention was uh, the Harmon kid playing him. Which means he'll, he'll have the Gibbs mannerisms down. If he does his homework. Kyle Schmid. Is who's Mike Franks? Yep. Let's see what he is known for. Unless he turns into the Red Skull, I'm not going to care. Um, oh, wait, that's Conrad Schmidt. Um, and even then, I'm not going to care. It's on television. See, they originally had him played by, um, let me see. We're not taking screenshots, and Carl's in bed. Eat Muse your ice cream. Watson. Huh? Muse Watson played Mike Franks originally. What's the matter, Dan? I said... Nobody is taking screenshots, and Carl is asleep. Eat your ice cream. Enjoy it. I am. <coughs> what did I miss? You, you, the expression on her, your face was going, I expect to be photographed any second now. I'm sorry. Hey, not all of us are going to do that. I guess I wasn't even thinking about that. Oh, wait. Uh, Austin Stoll is going to be Leroy Jethro Gibbs. Austin Stoll? That's what they're saying. Okay, well, last I heard it was Harmon's kid. Let's see, what's the date on this before I go in? Uh, six minutes ago. Um, it's, okay, well, I was um, wrong. I stand corrected. I'm sorry. Leroy Jenkins. Um Hey, at least I got chicken. Yeah, Austin Stoles, who they got listed on IMDb also. Uh, Kyle Schmid looks like he's mostly... Uh, he's done a few TV series where he's had multiple episodes. A lot of little single yeah. episodes. and Mark Harmon will still be the narrator. Oh, it's going to be one of the narrated. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, Kyle Schmid will play Mike Franks. Meanwhile, uh, back in the jungle. Damn then, it, Don. Uh, what the hell did I do? 
damn ice cream. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. Joe Dog can't see anybody enjoying something without getting triggered. Um, it's not your fault. Poor boy has too little pleasure in his life. Kyle Schmidt, has, apparently he's only been acting since 2017, so he's a new kid. No, uh, he goes back further than that. Does he? Oh, tw yeah, 2014. Uh, see, oh, wait, no, it goes all the way to 2000, 2000, 1960. Wait, wait, virus? He was a sixth grade alien? Oh, uh, no, wait, no. He was in diapers. Oh my oh. God! He was in Degrassi, the Next Generation. Oh my God! That, that just... Chris, at this point, I'd welcome Sky Skynet. I mean, seriously, right. it's got to be better than network TV. I, for one, welcome our cybernetic overlords. Uh, yeah, it looks like 1996 was his first. At least first credited. Oh, but he was in the series Copper. Mm -hmm. Dan, you remember that one? I remember Lindsay watching a BBC. That's the one. Yeah. Okay. No, he was uh, played Robert Morehouse. Um, so he's he a British episodes. actor. That's why I don't recognize half these shows. Yeah. Uh, CSI Cyber. He's already. Oh, he was in the CSI series as well as NCIS. Um, let me see. Looks good. See, right, uh, yeah, a lot. He, he's got a lot of small stuff. You know, it's let's put it this way. If this was back in the seventies, he'd have been on Matlock and you know, uh, uh, Ironside and stuff like mm. that. Columbia. Yeah, like like I said, a lot of little like one episode. Maybe. Movie here and there the on a series, yeah. yeah, exactly. A couple of series where he was in, you know, twenty plus, and then everything else. I don't think he's really had a top billing in anything. Uh, nope, not that I can see. Uh, but apparently, uh, this may be his breakout role is NCIS uh, Origins or whatever. Yeah. Hey, um, everybody got to start somewhere. I mean, look at Alan Rickman. You know, he first movie he was ever in was Die Hard with Bruce Willis, and you know he. Kicked it out the park, literally. So, who got kicked out of the park? Alan Rick, you. You're never going to be allowed to go to Chattanooga again, Joe Dog. They caught you selling glow-in-the-dark necklaces to teenagers, and it turns out they were radioactive. We do have a nuclear power plant here in Chattanooga. Yeah, that made them glow a whole them. lot brighter and a whole lot longer. Um, you know, I always said I would love to get one of the uh, security trucks from a Sequoia nuclear plant, sneak it out one day, paint it with glow in the dark paint, and then sneak it back in. Um, just... <laughs> I always wondered about that one tennis shoe that was in the... Uh, the bottom of the middle uh, underwater nuclear reactor in uh, Oak Ridge. Because somebody was walking across the catwalk, a catwalk and lost the tennis shoe. And it was executively decided, we ain't going after that damn thing. No, <laughs> nowhere, not no how. It's going to glow in the dark for the rest of your life and probably several generations to come afterwards. Have You're you going to have to buy heard, a new pair of shoes. Have you ever heard about the Chernobyl mop? Dan, here's a story for you. I'm listening. They went down and they took a picture of the elephant's foot. That yes, yes. The, the, the radioactive yeah. mass, yes. Now, all the heat... All the radiation, everything was going on, the explosions, and all that sort of stuff, the, you know, the uh, liquidators going in, cleaning up stuff. They went in and took a picture. And here's a picture of the elephant's foot because they had to, like, run the camera around the corner so they wouldn't. Uh -huh. really yeah, because nothing would, not even the camera would survive for very long. And, but if you take a look at the pictures, the original picture of their elephant's foot, 
off on the left side is a mop that is standing straight up in the middle of the floor. Somebody stood up a mop in the floor in the basement of the nuclear plant and it stayed there after it dried or whatever. All right. Didn't burst into flames from the nuclear material, you know, didn't fall over from the explosions. It was just standing there. You're you're assuming that the mop is not trying to run away in very There's very the story slow people, motion. People think that the mop is actually a radioactive mutant that is like hovering around the elephant's foot. And there's the story for you, uh, Dan. It, it, radio, you're, the hero of the story is a radioactive. It's a Russian radioactive mop. So it speaks with a Russian accent. Stop. I'm going to clean this shit up. Um, no, no, no. Wait, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. No, the mop walks into the basement of the Chernobyl nuclear plant, looks around at all the crap, and goes, I'm not cleaning this up. <laughs> I demand overtime. He, um, he's a he's a he's a Russian trader mop. He won't how do you up. you assume it's a he? Um, you know that that's well. It's got a very long stick. That's, that's... thirty-six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Once again, you assume the mop is a he, just because it has a long stick, doesn't yes. know how to use it. Um, uh, apparently, does it speak softly and that. walk with a long stick? <laughs> um, uh, if okay, for those of you who think I'm making this crap up, just Google Chernobyl mop. Okay, it's it's. No, I I don't I don't think you're making it up. I just <laughs> thought you were. I thought you were presupposing the mop's gender. Um, I, I was. It, I mean, you know, it's hey. It's a mop. As far as I'm concerned, it, it's an asexual mop. It's Could, a mop on a stick. It, 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 its pronouns are they, them. Um, and it doesn't socialize much because it's radioactive. So, Well, it is at Chernobyl. Everything's radioactive, so there's plenty of socializing. Um, uh -oh. well, I'll talk, talk, about, from talk about nightlife that glows in the dark. Oh, my God. Uh, I told y'all my pronouns the other week, didn't I? That I already know what your pronouns are, Joe Dog, but it's not the ones you picked. <laughs> the, she, and it. That's right. I'm the shit. I think you're right, but not in the way that you presuppose. Um, uh, darn it, I cannot find a large picture of this. It's driving me nuts. They're all like, everything's a thumbnail. I don't know, ask the cat lady behind your shoulder. Cat lady behind his shoulder? That's Ralphie. In his pajamas from his aunt, grandma. Oh, I thought it was—I thought it was a clip from Doctor Who. One of the one of the nurse, the cat nurses from the uh, from the home. <laughs> right. I'm oh, sorry. I was re responding to Chris. Chris. Does Oh, I got to watch over my shoulder. Did my you father, do? My father has banned my wife from using the bathroom at his house now. Because he thinks she let out that stink instead of you? No, no. I had not been in there. It's, it's your story. You get to tell how you want. There you go. There's the sentient mop. There's the sentient mop. There, there's there's a story idea for you, Dan. At least a short story. I'm not cleaning this up until I'm I not cleaning overtime. this up. 
<coughs> you made this mess. You clean it up. It's a Ukrainian mop. It, uh... Oh, I ain't taking no shit off nobody. Um... <laughs> taking no, I ain't taking no shit off no Russians. <laughs> Hey, you know this. This story is almost writing itself. I mean, if it's the Ukrainian, mob, it's the hero. Um, <laughs> and then, and then, of course, the Russians invade. And, and in the early days of the Russian invasion into Ukraine, they took over the area around Chernobyl nuclear plant and started digging fighting positions until they realized all their fighting positions were radioactive and they had to pull everybody out because they were, you know, hair was falling out, teeth were falling out, fun stuff like that. And, um, but it'd be funny, uh, the Ukrainian mop has left the nuclear plant and is now running around Ukraine taking out Russian tanks. Like Wouldn't be hard. Parts. All you got to do is touch the damn things, and they fall exactly. Apart. It's a mop. You know, it's it's the mop is running around just killing all the Russian vehicles. You know, it's, it's a radioactive mop. All it's, it's got to do is stand there and let them drive by. the The Russian troops inside are instantly dead, and the tank it, goes. It, it looks. Ooh, I'm going to glow in the dark like one of Joe Dog's little necklaces from the hey, uh, Dad, Dad. Fourth of July show. Yeah, uh, all the Russian troops. Think it's a lightsaber because it, it, they see it at night. It's just a big long stick blowing in the dark. <laughs> John, write this shit up, please. I'll publish it. Oh God, I may have to edit it a little bit, but I'll publish it. Go for I it. I said submit submit it to Aphelion. Yeah. <laughs> just well, I'm the publisher. Write it up. I'll I'll God edit it. I'll. I'll Oh, see now I've got to write this, and here and here's my first, you know, writer's problem. I gotta, I gotta think of a name for the mop. Oh, damn! Uh, it's your crazy. Yeah. Um. Oh wait, wait! Hey, I, I got I, the perfect I, name for it, Yuri Sumovich. <laughs> nah, Gizel. I do have some friends in Ukraine. I suppose I could ask for a good name for a mop. Um, yeah, and hey. So y'all didn't get the joke? Yes, we Joe, got the joke. We, we got chose the to joke. ignore it. We just know uh, better than to, to like egg you on. They, uh, yeah, it's like clicking on a link or a... a, a Joe sent you a link. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh -uh. no. Nope. Delete, delete, delete. Um, Joe, no. did you did you see the uh, bucket, link, bucket got link No, <laughs> that's, that's. <laughs> hey, the, uh, bucket. The the guy sitting in the bathtub with the horse head drumming on a bucket. Bucket, yeah. Bucket's the drummer. Yeah, bucket's the drummer. He he's got a new one out that's just absolutely. He he tells you how to or shows where to hit the drum to get. Bucket to get the right drum sounds. Hmm. Hmm. I'll have to look that one up. Back in a moment. All right. Mm. Oh. My neck is popping nice. more often than. Then Dawn wishes hers would. Oh, God. <laughs> Ralphie. Ah. What? Ralphie. No. Uh, Ralphie ain't got nothing to do with this. It's just... If I move the wrong way, it feels like I just broke my damn neck. But then, as soon as it goes pop, it feels a whole lot better. And I go, what makes you think you didn't break your neck? Mm Ow! Oh! There it went again. Stop doing that. All I'm doing is living. Um, I tried stopping living once. Didn't work. Um... Get you back in and said, no, you're not done yet. Get your ass back there. 
really? I was I was told my job isn't done yet. And I go, honey, I hadn't heard that in years. Thank you. Um, this is why the only church I go to is Our Lady of Perpetual Motion. Um, she didn't even look up. I heard you. I'm trying to yeah, ignore you. <laughs> <laughs> Most women do. Thank you. Um, I'm betting a thousand. Uh, uh, oh, now that one's getting warm, too. I mean, this is bullshit. <sighs> yeah, I get this. What you guys' is fault? Carry the I'm, three. I'm being... um, yes. It's your guys' is fault because now I am like watching. I'm looking at NCIS and all the other people that have been in it through the years. So it's your fault. Ain't my fault, honey. I don't watch TV. I don't recommend TV shows. The only TV shows I watch are Doctor Who and that's it. Well, folks, I think I am actually going to call it a night. What, you, were you up early today? <laughs> Actually, I do know the difference between an alligator and a crocodile. One will see you later? No, uh, it has to do with the shape of the snout. Um, and usually how long or relatively short the forearms are. And... Um, how much time they need to spend in the sunlight in order to be warm enough to go throughout the night and hunt. Um, oh. And don't ask me what that is. Uh, what am I? They the have found crocodiles. Channel? They have found crocodiles in the Florida swamp. Yeah, there are crocodiles and alligators in Florida. <laughs> and the croc, the croc hunters don't like, or the alligator hunters don't like catching the crocs. They fight. No. Yeah, they do. Um, really, if you if if you really want to see a bad-tempered crocodile, go to Egypt. Oh yeah, them are assholes. They're <laughs> they're forty feet long and mean. Um, imagine John's mop with an attitude and teeth. You want to see the really mean Egyptian uh, alligators or crocodiles? Excuse me. Um, you have to go to the British Museum because they stole all that shit years ago. And they're still feeding them to the random tourists every every now and then. Whoa. Would you like to sit in chair number three? Thank you. Wow. Grr. What time did you get up this morning, Joe? Okay. Uh, uh, got up about 6.30, was at the town hall by 7.30, two trips of all the Easter stuff later, and about two hours of setup. Or 45 seconds of kids running around grabbing everything that was there. The oldest group actually got done first. Of course. They know what's going on. Hmm. I figure the four, like four to five year olds, would be the first ones done. They they got the least amount of uh, 
travel as far as bending over to pick stuff up. Yeah, but the oldest group had metal detectors. Uh, that's true, too. <laughs> Oh, I would love to see this. They, they show up with minesweepers. <laughs> I would love to see an Easter egg hunt where the youngest person was 80, 80 years old. That'd be a slow ass Easter egg hunt. I've heard of. Uh, That's interesting, though. I am not I've wasting my 66 phones. year old time wandering around looking for Easter eggs. If I want Easter eggs that bad, I can boil my own. Uh, no, but you know, do the little plastic eggs. But you know, at least you know you got to have hundred dollar bills in them for for no the old folks to make revenge. Food. It'll be a quarter. <laughs> if Joe Dog is the one putting stuff in the Easter eggs, everybody will say it's a hundred dollar bill. Joe Dog's putting pennies in there and pocketing hundred dollar bills because he ain't stupid. No, you do it in an old folks' home, and you put their meds in it, and hope you know. Tell them, hope you get the right egg. Hey, Donna. My luck, I get the ones for ADHD, and then I turn into the Flash <laughs> again. Uh, all right, folks. I'll see you next week. All right, Joe. Good, Good night, night, Joe. Thanks for showing up. We appreciate you being here. Good night. And Donna's just here because Chris is here. Well, we got a good crowd. We got uh, four people in the YouTube page. I guess two of them are John and Dan. I'm not yeah. on YouTube. So. I am. Well, I was, but I'm not now. So basically, oh. it's Chris's fan club and me. Yeah, that's what they always say. Lindsay was telling Michelle about the cult of Chris today. Oh, boy. And she said, Oh, you should see him. He's so cute. Now go ahead. If you weren't my wife, you wouldn't be my wife. Oh, Lord. Hey. I, 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 I hear enough about Cliff Richard and what's his name from... Um, The band with the, the, the tartan stripes on their blue jeans and whatever from the 70s. And uh, uh, Donny Osmond. Mm -hmm. And I'm going, well, honey, if you had that many choices, how did I even make the list? Because you won her heart. They just caught her eye. I, I think I had a more wordy explanation, but you're you're probably in the more polite direction. Um, hey, Paul. Ouch. Hey, Paul. Hey, Paul. Welcome. How you doing? Welcome to the show. Uh, I'm wondering if I have Paul printed on Facebook because... Um, I don't usually do Facebook on the computer. I usually do Facebook on the iPad so that it doesn't annoy me outrageously. Uh, and, and Paul's one of my writers from Appealing. He's, he's, oh. he's, he's a good guy. Um, writes stories I like to read. Are there uh, any moms involved? Hmm. Thought of that. Is there any mops? <coughs> so far, no mops have have submitted a story yet. But the first mop from Chernobyl that submits a story is an automatic in for me. 
Um, and John, just because I want to Keisha mm -hmm. you, write the damn thing, send it to me. Yep. I'll, I'll, I've got fences to mend, but uh, yeah. Uh uh. Uh uh. No excuse. You came yes, up with the I idea. Thank you very much. You came up with the idea. I'm not I'm not accepting Chernobyl mop stories from anybody except John. Um Well, maybe John's mom and the pig. Um hmm. You came in at exactly the wrong time, Don. That was not <laughs> aimed at you. John and his mother have a pit pop belly pig. No, I know. Uh, oh, if, if, John, if John can convince his mom and the, and the pig to type up the Chernobyl mop story, I'll give that a I'll give that a go. But uh, I want I want John since it's his idea. To write it up. Hey, Paul. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting on a response. Uh, Josh's wife, Kimberly, posted a picture. Says when you tell your woman to calm down, and picture of the woman uh, with the guy on the ground, got her legs wrapped around him. In a chokehold, and he's trying desperately to pull her arm down away. I said, "Is Josh okay?" He will be once he gets out of the emergency room. Um, <sighs> but the pictures have nothing to do with that. Hell, you turned me on. No, 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 no. I wonder if Joe Dog's ever been in that predicament with Donna. What? Do tell. Um, probably not because Joe Dog is still with us. <laughs> Are you saying that if he was in that predicament with Donna, that he would not have survived such an encounter? All right. I she will. would not have called 911. Sure. Let me tell you that right now. Come on! Um, hey, my husband hasn't moved in three days. Um, <laughs> and the back of his head is really flat looking. Um, matter of fact, it's got this lodge thing imprinted in it from my frying pan. But that's, that's neither here nor there. Um, I actually expect we will see that live if it ever happens. What? If oh. you piss off your wife bad enough, she's going to come in and cave in your skull with a frying pan? There's a reason we got aluminum, aluminum frying pans around this house. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That can still do some damage. How far, how far away is the nearest Cracker Barrel? Longer than she wants to walk. You better hope she don't find some large manufacturing stuff. Amazon is a thing. Oh. No, she doesn't like cast iron. I, I get cast iron, get everything, get it all seasoned up. And she says, I hate this stuff. I said, well, I'm going to use it, whatever. She said, okay. She washes it with Dawn dish soap. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Oh, she does it just to spite you, doesn't she? Yes. Now, uh, now, wait a minute. Facebook if user, if you would go give StreamYard permission, or yeah, permission to uh, show your ID. Use your your Facebook, Facebook. profile uh, name. Um, it doesn't it's have to be your real identity. It'll just use whatever it is that you use for your Facebook profile name. Wait, wait, wait. You know, if you... Okay, I'm going to go this and then you have to take over, Chris, when it comes under you. Ready? 
Go. Okay. <laughs> you know, Joe, if you properly season a cast iron pan, you can use it on dishwashing liquid on it. Scouring pad. No. And this is why I don't use cast iron because everybody thinks I'm bad for it. Mm -hmm. But I'm bum. I'm sorry. I went off into to totally live field. Um, I think that may be what's wrong with food today. I'll, We're not I'll be cooking. in my bunk. We're not cooking it with cast iron anymore. Well, that's the reason why y'all kids <laughs> need Geritol. Um, there ain't enough iron in your diet. Mm. I mean, seriously. A little bit of cornbread in a cast iron skillet wouldn't hurt you a bit. Um, and you get your vitamin B from buttermilk. Um, I don't know where else you get that from. But yeah, we were know, just buttermilk. speculating on whether that had happened to Joe, uh, Keith. Oh, is that who that is, Keith? Yeah. Oh, okay. Ah... Uh, Keith is a cool dude. We need yeah. to actually get him in here on this, in this mayhem. Well, send him a link. You on the channel? Nah, it's probably too late. He's probably Is not it? properly attired. Sort of like that first night. Keith, you if you it, want to join in, just let us know. We can send you a link. You think I'm properly attired? Uh, well, I do remember. Hold on a minute. Let me put a shirt on. I've, I've never I've, said I've, that. I mean, I always have a shirt on, so I never had to say that. I have said that, especially in the <laughs> summertime. <laughs> <clears throat> Paul's got I didn't say anything about going. putting pants on. The camera doesn't aim down that low. Um, Why do you think I turned the camera off? I have pants on. Hey, Michaela. Hey, Michaela. You know, we actually need to have... You're about to stand up and prove you're wearing pants. In the summertime... You In the summertime, a lot of times I'm wearing a dress. So, no, I'm not wearing pants, but I'm wearing a dress. So. <laughs> mm. that, and, puts uh, a whole, that puts a whole nother spin on things. I just got uh, to looking at something, Dan. We need to have a special... Hey, 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 but the camera don't go down that far, Joe. You can't be looking at that. Uh, You're a married no, man. <laughs> we, uh, we need to do... Not this Tuesday, but next Tuesday... We need to do a special edition stupid o'clock. April 9th. The fourth anniversary of stupid o'clock. Yeah, our first the, show. The day after April Fool's Day is our anniversary? No, the ninth. no ninth. Oh, oh, oh. A week after yeah. Okay. The day after the 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 uh, eclipse. Yeah. Oh, um, Michelle's birthday is next week too. Um. Oh shit! I didn't write that down. Oh, she and Tuesday done. is the tenth anniversary of me hurting my back. Well, I'm not gonna write that Ooh. down, and that's not something I want to celebrate, Joe Dog. Um. I will celebrate baby girl's birthday. Uh, and please, don't give me a hard time. Each of my daughters has a different uh, nickname. All right. Um, they're right. precious to me. Uh, name my baby. 
act like I've only been a dad for like 35 years or so. Um, You've got grandkids that old. I've got grandkids that are almost 40. <laughs> I've got grandkids. grandkids are still younger than me. I have grandkids that are older than Dawn. No, uh, you don't. Yeah, no, I do. Not. You said almost 40? Hey, that was the youngest one. The one that's done two tours of duty in the Middle East. Uh, the youngest from that particular mother. Um, I've also got a grandkid that's about nine. You got to remember, my my oldest daughter is... Um, Fifty-five. So you don't have any grandkids older than me, then? Yeah, she's got three sons. But none of them are older than me. Yeah, she started when she was a teenager. Um, um, she would have started when she was ten. Yeah. Hey, you talked to her. I tried to. I couldn't talk her out of it. Um. No, she no, thought no, no, it would no. be fun. Damn. If she's 55, that means that she would have had her first baby. When I'll send it to her. Uh, we know that's not true. You got to talk to her about that. I ain't telling tales out of school. Um, I'm just saying you don't have grandkids that are older than me. Well, I do have socks older than you, but that's that's beside the point. <laughs> I'm not still wearing them, but they're in the drawer. Is Premier Hell, is that Keith? Mm. No. Maybe. Um. Hey, if, if, if a link to the show wants you to create your own live stream, go for it. We won't ever see it, but, you know, uh, go to Uncle Joe Dog will be the one paying for it, so. Uh. No, I hope they get a, a StreamYard account through that link. Hmm. What? That, mean, that means when they pay their bill, you don't have to pay yours. Ooh, Michaela, what's this one going to be? <coughs> oh, okay. Monetized channel on YouTube. Well, let's look them up. John, look them up. Who? Uh, Premier Hell. Let, let, let's, throw, let's throw a plug for this uh, new viewer. There's okay, Keith. here comes Keith. Hiya! Howdy, howdy. Hey, Hello, Keith. Keith. I meant nice to ask to meet you, you, what was your rank? What was what? Your rank. Oh, I retired uh, lieutenant commander. Okay. Uh, lieutenant commander. <laughs> uh, John is ex-military also. Well, thank you for your service, sir. Well, thank you for your he, he, his, his last tour was playing in the sand. <laughs> I'm quite familiar with that sandbox myself. Yeah, but John likes to play with serious putty. Um, um, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, yeah. John, John played with a serious putty. You know, it's amazing. And, you and several other things that go bang unexpectedly when the enemy least expects it. It's amazing um, how you can take something over to Iraq in a sealed Ziploc bag. Okay. Put it in a foot locker. Don't open it. Okay. Bring it back to the United States. Open the Ziploc bag and there's sand in it. <laughs> and it's like, how, how the hell? Anakin was onto something. Excuse me. The Middle East is like Florida. You're fine. 
the damn sand gets <laughs> everywhere. A woman doesn't even take a bikini I, I, out of the suitcase. Before, she comes crazy. back. The, the bikini is full of sand. She didn't bother to wear it, but, well, maybe it was one of those beaches. Anyway, it's, just, it's still there in the suitcase. All uh, right. Uh, we need to introduce Keith here. Okay. Yeah, yeah Keith. Yeah. Keith Are you is, do uh, questions? Do I give him the three? Yeah, let's give him the three questions. Oh, go ahead. Get it out of the fucking way. All right. Our three, uh, we give you three questions right up front. Then you can, then we'll run from there. The first question is, who are you? Second one's, what do you do? And third is, how the hell did you get suckered into being on this show? <laughs> uh, the first one, I am uh, Keith Smart. I uh, live in Chattanooga, Tennessee, born and raised. Um, I currently have my, my finger in quite a few pies. Um, I have my as own long as they don't from. complain, it's all right. What is it? As long as they don't complain, it's all right. No, I don't think these are complaining. Um, <laughs> I've got my own uh, counseling firm called KLS Counseling. I've um, currently got 12 clients. We don't call them patients because nobody's sick. Um, I also just got a new position about a month ago. Uh, they reached out to me, which was Lafayette High School, because they were looking for somewhat of a head um counselor i guess you could say so i took that job so now i'm hanging out with uh crumb snatchers once again um <laughs> what else oh um i'm the co-chair for metropolitan con um and the third one um yep pretty much yeah, knowing how did you wind up here yeah. what is it how did you wind up here <laughs> well uh, you no know, knowing joe dog and uh, mr chris over there uh i've been seeing you know Quite a few times, you know, it would pop up on my feed. Um, but it's kind of one of those deals where I'm always go, 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 go. And tonight was one of those nights where, you know, I was told I need to calm down and just kind of take it easy. And so I saw that you guys were on and said, you know what? Let me just jump on here. So here I is. <laughs> <laughs> and then we suckered, I mean, ask you on the show. Um. Yeah. Happy now that I see you, I recognize you from last year. <laughs> what, what was it? You were at Holocon last year. That I see you, I recognize yes. you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Usually I'd say that, that uh, Chris is perfectly trustworthy. But when he tells somebody they can trust Joe Dog, I'm going... Oh, God, somebody take the pistol away from the chimpanzee. Um, no, I, when it comes to business, Dan, you know I'm serious. <coughs> Are you serious about losing money? Um, <laughs> Dan's on fire tonight. Dan. Um, hey, hey. Joe Dog can pinch a penny till Lincoln screams. Unfortunately, he's throwing dollar bills out the window while Lincoln is screaming. <laughs> driving down the freeway at 70 miles an hour. Uh, he's got me as a guest at the next telecon. I mean, seriously, how much a waste of money is that? Oh, oh, that's right. You're not paying me anything. Okay, I'll take all that back. Um, <laughs> I love the free guests. <laughs> Oof, <laughs> I'm, yeah, only, I'm just, only took I'm just what, showing up for the bourbon, all right? I mean, how many years has it been since you've been? How many years have you been doing doing the writing stuff? And how many years have you been a guest at conventions? I have been writing for 30 years. And this will be the first ever convention I have been recognized as an author besides uh hey here you go you're on a panel because you're a writer that's it um joe doug you're the first one to 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 say hey this guy might be worth checking out um 
I mean, especially the way you wrote my death scene. Yeah. It's it's a shame that that's never going to see print. I worked so hard on that. Well, rework I mean, it and put it in something else. I can't. Uh, Stephanie has a copyright on that. I was working. I was working under contract. I mean, it wasn't my. It wasn't my universe. So I was writing in uh, a shared universe, and whatever I wrote there, I don't own. <laughs> other than inside my head. So if, if you sweet talk to Stephanie and tell her, hey, hey, I I want to see Dan's thing of, of, of this book come out. I mean, it, I've I've read some of it. It's good. Um, yeah, Ste Stephanie actually did me a great honor. One of her, uh, the displaced detective place down in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm a episode co-star of that one cool oh she she put she put me in two of her um um oh somebody help my memory here her her, her, her um in black series division, oh. yeah, division division one. one division one she put me in two division one series uh, stories and she only killed me off once <laughs> she and let she, me live in the second one hey she didn't kill me off Kev you are in a convention I don't <laughs> <laughs> that was before I started running the convention uh, so Keith, she's, she's uh, prescient that way uh, we, we John can tell you probably one of the best war convention war stories ever. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> he he wasn't there. The Canada. CIA can deny that he was there. Uh, it, th I this have no it, knowledge of any nuclear material in a parking garage at a convention. <laughs> I know that story. Uh, I wasn't <laughs> there. Thank God. Otherwise, I'd glow in the dark. Um, yeah. Long story short, uh, Chattacon one year. We have a rule that you are not allowed to misuse nuclear material stickers for sci-fi props. Okay. And that that's yeah, yeah. that was the incident that yeah. Uh, and so, that some rule. someone named labeled something that wasn't radioactive as being radioactive for the purposes of a party and <laughs> it didn't make it out of the parking lot. John John, slide around so yeah. explain that one. Um this was the Chattanooga Fire Department removing the nuclear material from the parking garage across the street house where the convention was held. Because there were some very important people in town. Like the vice president's wife and the Secret Service and a bunch of people with three letter designators on their names. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. See, Chattanooga. Chattercon can throw a party. <laughs> Boy, it can. Handcuffs included. Um, it, yeah. It, it can toss a party, too. <laughs> hey. Uh, hey, that's different than throwing a party. They um, uh, pretty much every one of the convention board was in handcuffs that morning. For their own safety. For course. their own safety. Yeah, that's yes, of course. And Dawn's gone. How can I get in on this trip? Uh, and, 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 and for the inconvenience, Dawn, Dawn, they it, was, it was only one pair per customer. You wouldn't have enjoyed it. Uh, but ankle cuffs were not included there. Um, <laughs> my pout. <laughs> hey, hey, we warned you. Are you going? <laughs> how can I get out of this gracefully? <laughs> no, no, I'm good. I'm there ain't no graceful way you just hit 
exit and <laughs> bugger off. I mean, seriously. No, we Lord had, knows we, I've been tempted over the last three years. Hey, um, we, we've had some guests in here, and we just get off on a tangent, and all of a sudden they'll go, screw this, I'm out. Boom, gone. Never, never <laughs> seen her again. Yeah, really, and they never published a book again either, as far as we've been able to tell. Um, and hey, publishers, we talk to each other, you know. Uh, so why the hell am I still here? Because <laughs> you're cute. Ice cream. And, uh, and, oh, John, you uh, hadn't been sweet. coming to Alicon when uh, we had the pipe break in the dealer's room. No, I was, I was not there for that one. That was that was fun. The pipe broke in the dealer's room at about nine forty-five. I remember the story about in the this. Morning. Somebody had to go in there and save everybody's vending well, stuff. Well, one the main artist, Eddie. You know Eddie Price, that three D guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the pipe broke over his table. Fuck. <laughs> and yeah, we saved it. Not only did we save it, we relocated him. And he comes down from, you know, to head down to the dealer's room and he sees all his stuff in a new location. He's going, "How did that happen?" Oh, pipe broke about 15 minutes ago. We moved and set up his booth in another location. He mm -hmm. said NASCAR pit crew couldn't move that fast. That's okay. We made a swimming pool under the old location. Um, uh, yeah, that was also the year I fell <coughs> right before the guest banquet. Because yeah, <laughs> you know we're going to quit letting you, you try to sell somebody a badge. That's yeah, I was trying to fill a badge. Thinking, John, is that we're not even Joe? I don't think Joe should be at the guest banquet no more. Yeah, really. <laughs> last really, last I mean, year he broke a glass just by, you know. No, no. Joe did not break the glass. The glass broke because Joe Dog reached for it against his doctor's prescription. That was a very strong prescription. <laughs> no, it glass was shattered before he got to it. Do you know who April Green is, Keith? April Green. Yeah. It sounds familiar. Yeah. She was a ringo. Yeah. She uh was the one trying to get a badge. I tripped over my two feet and landed in the floor, and everybody's going, Joe, you okay? I said, Give me the phone so I can run this credit card. I'm laying in the floor taking a payment <laughs> for a badge. And I'm so glad looking. you added for a badge on there. <laughs> and, and, and she was just like, oh my God. If, if this was a green room, I could really ram this joke home. Uh, <laughs> Laying yeah. on the floor taking payment, huh, Joe Dog? <laughs> that, that, I mean, that that's one of my convention war stories that I'll, I'll lay in the floor to take payments. <laughs> Really, I, I usually have to do that standing up, but you do you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, my work's cut out for me this year, isn't it? No. <laughs> hey, 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 you've already got a hunting license. I don't have to ask. Oh, and Keith, just ignore my subtitle right now. If you read it, maybe you can understand it. Let me see here. I'm on my phone, so... Hold on, let me let me make it bigger. Ah, <laughs> yeah. He 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 actually think he he's a um. Um, can we get Paul Hauser a invite? Does anybody? Damn. Um, I I, I okay. Um. We probably should add him to the list. I mean, he's he's a nice guy. Uh, yeah. Let me let me. It's I don't good. have uh, messenger pulled up at the moment. Let me hit the link. Let me here. let me uh, ask Keith real quick. Have you got C. one of those stories that from this is what year five from Matrotham? Mm -hmm. 
Have you got one of those stories of y'all ain't gonna believe this, but this is what happened? No shit, there was. Yeah. <laughs> well, there was um, year, well, year, year three. Um, the lady who's over our handlers, um, I won't call the celebrity's name, but the celebrity was rather uh, frisky with um ah those are my favorite those are my favorite kind <laughs> yeah yeah i mean you know to the point of where he was you know smacking her on the ass and um you know making advances mm -hmm. like you know come on up to my room and, and this guy wasn't you know we didn't expect that from this individual uh granted he'd been drinking but booze is kind of like truth serum so he yep. was letting his uh real real self come out yeah and Vino Veritas. So we uh, uh, we got rid of him quick, fast, and hurry. Yeah. There's Paul. Go ahead and add Paul in here. This is there Paul. There you go. Uh, if you would, just let me know I who that is, and I'll Paul. never consider Paul. them. What did you say, Joe? Let me know who that is, and I'll, I'll never consider them. Yeah, you can oh, put well. it in the private chat. I mean, yeah, there. I'll, I'll right. keep that to you, to your DM. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we found out that one of our guests was that way. Uh, oh, a missing stare, yeah. No, he uh, he was a little uh, too friendly with some of the some of the attendees. Grabby, <clears throat> yeah, like I said, Ooh. a missing, a missing stare, uh. And he, someone, uh, someone you uh, think is there to depend on and trip when they're not dependable. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, uh, I will let you know who that is so you don't invite him. <laughs> I'll let you know who that is so you don't invite them. Okay. Because, uh, yeah, they're on the convention circuit. Damn it, you're going to get me banned from all the conventions now. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm working on it, Dan. I mean, uh, <laughs> that's why I'm a guest at Helicon. Hey, see this guy? Never invited me anything at all. Um, yeah, we let him in once and we'll never do that again. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. Don't mess with me. I flirt with Megan. You could wind up with. Uh, Hot dogs forever. Well, I I love hot dogs. So. <laughs> Uncooked. Hey, they're edible. Hey, we're sucking on a chili dog outside of Tasty Freeze. We already had this discussion today. <laughs> uh, I just want to say hello to Keith. And hello, I Paul. used to live in I used to live in Hickson. Oh, many okay. many years ago. That's Joe's area. Yeah, you're in my neighborhood. Used to be, yeah, yeah. Uh, went to uh, Saudi Daisy Junior High. Ah, um, nothing to brag about. <laughs> hey, 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 now, was it the old junior high or the new junior high? It was old. This was the seventies. We oh, thought okay. you were a writer. He Aren't is. Hard. I published him. He is a writer. How did you get to be a well, writer? I, 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 Saudi I Daisy High School. Oh, 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 oh. Damn! <laughs> I, I've only done Flash, so that, that, that probably should explain. Oh, it. you need some ice for that burn, Paul. I can, I can get that for you. No, that that's fine. I, I also moved to West Virginia. I get it a lot. When I'm growing in the yard, I'll be right back. Good God! Uh, what's funny is my my Ohio friends really kind of rub me, and I'm like, dude, you're mm -hmm. from Ohio. Yeah, I mean that that, that says enough right there. Yeah. <laughs> hey, thesis. Hey, thesis. Hey, thesis. Um. Uh, oh, wow! Thesis. You just finished a video. Um. Well, That's we'll see it done. eventually. Thank you. Um. Good to have you. Um. <clears throat> it, thesis is on the list, isn't he? I think he is. He usually okay. pops in on 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 your show, Last Man. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, but he asked me to send him a link, so I don't know if he's on the uh, official list yet. Um, can hey. you just chime in anytime? <laughs> mm -hmm. Are you just sitting here going, 
what have I got myself into? <laughs> no, I just don't want to freak any of you guys out because you got to remember what my uh, 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 you would have to work. So perhaps I'm sitting here all of you on the couch. Well, wait, wait, we have to remember what now, Keith? What my current profession is. I may be putting all of you on the couch. You learn oh, more about than you do talking. <laughs> I'm I'm a science fiction writer. Do you Let's think not you that we can handle me like without having floor. to take your own prescriptions? <laughs> uh, I seriously doubt that. Um, there are more voices in my head than there are worlds in the um, well, this particular galaxy, anyway. Well, thank um, you. Uh, well, we just got a compliment from a new viewer tonight. Oh, okay. Yeah, I tried thank to send him. Uh, I can't find a. I found his YouTube page and it's yeah. gamer mm -hmm. stuff, and uh, I couldn't send him anything. With oh, okay. Uh, well, um. All we can do is try. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, don't psychoanalyze this bunch. <laughs> you, we'll send you to drinking. You'll run, out of crayons. You'll run out of crayons before we ever run out of crazy. <laughs> We're back on crayons again. Dang. Apparently. Oh. I didn't say you had to put barbecue sauce on them. I can't. Hey, you know, I love the flavor purple. Dan just gave me an idea for the next time my uh, I have two. Oh I have my two God. The Marine Corps. Another John's chili purple crayon with barbecue sauce chili uh, with Don't carrots. <laughs> I have two younger brothers that are Marine Corps, and he just gave me a great idea for the next family barbecue. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm evil that way. I try and reform, but I guess <laughs> it, it's just going to have to roll the way it rolls. If they didn't um, want the Marines to eat the crayon, they wouldn't have named them after food. <laughs> I, only, I have one thing I think I should bring up. Keith and Chris, they need to grow beards. They don't fit in. <laughs> Oh, hey, now, uh, Chris, Chris's fan club prefers him clean shaven. We do. Well, well, for, what I heard they, for what I heard you do, I'm not sure. The cult of Chris has yet to take a vote on this matter that I have been informed of. Uh, <clears throat> maybe, maybe you want a fuzzy face, Chris. I was, watching, uh, <laughs> I was watching some old episodes of Doctor Who. Yeah, see, okay. Yeah. Dan. 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 And the second doctor. I'm sorry. The second doctor. On board Patrick with Trump, the second either. doctor, yes. There was an episode with the second doctor and, and the Daleks, and um, there's a, a like Victorian scientist, and he's got this kind of main like look lion's mm -hmm. mane and that, that's what i'm going to shoot for this part doesn't want to grow but everything else is like going mad crazy mm -hmm. hey premier shoot an email to that email right there and i will uh shoot you the link okay. yeah, i'm not afraid to throw our link out there I mean, even, you yeah. know, some, sometimes I screw up when I'm looking for my email link and I'll post where, where'd it go now? Yeah. I mean, this, this one will sometimes pop up. I don't know why, but you know, that happens. It's, it's, it's some, some Easter convention. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Um, so I just want to check Donna, you, you prefer smooth Chris or are you prefer fuzzy Chris do you prefer your Chris shaved or unshaven <laughs> <laughs> or only lightly frosted um, she, like, she likes fuzzy Chris okay so my vote is fuzzy Chris and her votes fuzzy Chris so you have been out outnumbered Dan when the president of Vice and the president of the cult of Chris say fuzzy Chris. It's fuzzy Chris. 
you know. Hey. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 I hey. got exactly no dogs hey. in this hunt. How the heck did that get into our list? Our banner list? You put it there. I mean, you know. <laughs> What? Everybody's got to run to that now. Run to Metrothicom. Oh, Never mind. My tongue got tied. Hey, see, how do you like that free plug? Uh, thank you, sir. <laughs> Next thing you know, he'll have your logo up on a screen. <laughs> no, no, I won't go that far. Liar. But if you're Pizza. not doing anything around the middle of may if you happen to be in chattanooga you definitely want to drop by uh Metrotham. my goal was to get there this year but um i have other plans that weekend so i do apologize uh, mm. my boyfriend's very much into legos and there is a brick fest here locally that we're going to so okay please excuse me for a so, few so you ran into a brick wall yes i I need to go and put the crock pot full of gumbo in the fridge my logo. and point, refill please. my refill my it glass of rum up. because my my uh, my daughter is sleeping in the living room on an inflatable mattress and I'd like to turn the extra light out so she can sleep better and and this will have to be unless I bring the bottle back here. Doesn't have to be my last rheumatism medicine for the night, so uh, expect me to bring the bottle back here, because um, <laughs> I ain't stupid. I'm polite. Yeah. Um, now, but you know, John says I'd pop you know your logo up there, Keith. Mm -hmm. now, I wouldn't dare put put your no, logo yeah. up there. Oh, I, I would throw your website up there. Wow. So yeah, check out their page. Oh, that looks like a good guest right there. Miss Jody Benson. Who who all what name off some of your guests right quick, Keith? Uh Jody Benson, um, Lou Ferrigno, um who else? Who else? David Yost, he was a Power Ranger. We've got um what's the name? Uh Mick Foley, because we're gonna have a big <laughs> wrestling match uh Saturday. So that's going to be. Go, <laughs> <laughs> hey, sorry, I've seen Nick Foley twice at our local comedy club, and he is just an amazing human. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm expecting to take a chair to the back from him for charity. So. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Trust Between me. you and Nick Foley and Lou Ferrigno, I wonder who would win that match. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if he came out as I'm trying to figure out which one would be the best one. Probably mankind. I was gonna say mankind, yeah. No, uh, I like I like Mick as Cactus Jack. That was another good hey, one. Keith. Yep. Did anybody see uh, and they Lou, have a uh, secret partner, the one I mentioned earlier. Today. And I came home and actually started looking that up. And uh I think I'm gonna go ahead and reach out to his agent uh monday awesome so just let him know it's not a uh prank oh well, for sure yeah <laughs> for sure yeah monday is a you know what monday is yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah so avoid any link that i post <laughs> yeah. i try to do that nearly always joe yeah, but you still watch, you still click a few of them. I have clicked a few of them, but I don't click every one of them now. Remember that when you had to specifically tell me that it was Here Comes the Mummies because I was not going to click on it? <laughs> now, if you can ever get a late night ban, Here Come the Mummies. Are they local? No, they're out of Nashville. What the, type of music? Oh, party music, party, uh, suggestive party music. Yeah, very suggestive. Um, yeah, uh, look them, look them up on YouTube. They're all over YouTube. Okay. 
um, they they are a hoot. And trust me, you'll sell badges just for people to come see them. Yeah. What do you think they'll charge? What do they want? I think it's fifteen. I'll They've put it done. to you this way, Keith. One of their albums is called Everlasting Party. Another one is called Bed, Bath, and Behind. Mm. Mm-hmm. And then their single entendre. <laughs> uh, the song Pants. That, 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 that's one you got to listen to. It's like, ooh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> I know they come here a lot. I don't see them coming this summer. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're coming. Oh, they're going to be in Bloomington. That's only 45 minutes from me in June. Keith, you remember when Riverbend used to be fun? Mm hmm. They drew huge crowds at Riverbend. Really? Back in the day. Well, there was um, actually. Um, I've got a cousin, Tony. He's, mm-hmm. I don't know, man. Tony's worked for the city forever. Uh, oh, yeah. I know Tony. He, Tony Sammons? Yeah. 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 Well, he um, he mentioned my name and actually asked if I would be interested in, you know, becoming a chairman to kind of revitalize Riverbend. I'm like, <laughs> eh, I, I got too much going on because so. But, I mean, you know, uh, First it would thing be they nice. need to do is take it out of Bonnaroo's hands. I agree with that. That was Bonnaroo's goal anyways to shut them down because they, yep. they were direct competition. Yep. Yep. And it was a better event. I agree with that too. They made sure it wasn't. Everything that made it great, they changed. <laughs> I'll put it to you this way. If it ever came up that you, as head of Friends of the Festival, I would actually stand behind and promote and actually work for you. Oh, wow. You have my support. Because well, the clowns running it now ain't doing worth the- There, There is no river bend this year. No, no, it's been shut down. That's why Tony was like, hey, you know, we're trying to figure out how to revitalize this thing. Well, I mean, I got ideas. I can pitch you some ideas, but I'm, I'm I got too much other stuff going on to be trying to run it. Oh, what's one more thing? No, darling. Mm-mm. I won't. I won't <laughs> well, buy that weed. was sarcasm. That was sarcasm. I, no, I know. I mean, I want my weed factor to, to continue to blow up. That's what my concern yeah. is right now. Oh, he also, you know, his plate's full. He, he he needs to quit adding sideboards at some point. So I'm I'm gonna give it uh, I'll give it another four years because I'm pretty sure our current mayor is gonna run again, and that would just be asinine to try and run against an incumbent like him. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I'll throw my hat eventually back in the political arena. Uh, I mean, I ran for mayor 2020. Yeah. We'll give it another shot. I didn't know who you were then, but I'll tell you. I I know now and you've got my vote. Well, thank you, sir. I mean, I'll leave. Of course, you know, working at the city, putting a political sign in your front yard was tattoo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, you catch hell from three different angles. Right. I put the biggest sign you put out in my front yard. <laughs> hey, he'd go steal one of the dump trucks and put a sign on the side of it and park it in his Joe, driveway. Joe, your front yard ain't that big. Oh. I, he didn't say he would make the sign yard. look big. Somebody's front yeah, yard. Yeah, it'd make the sign look huge. And then everybody goes, Joe's supporting him? Let's see who he is. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, no. Uh, she might not like that. I, I started to say, used to date one of the girls on Signal Mountain. Um, she might not want you to put something the size of T. 
Teddy Roosevelt's face <laughs> on, on the, 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 all, all that bullshit. Oh, oh. God. Oh, Keith, I'll Lord, just put it no. to you this way. Don't get Ann Coulter. You got to worry about that one. <laughs> Why, why, why are you going to get somebody that's got the IQ of a squirrel? No, it's it's a different one. But you're about right. Uh, there's a there's a different one. Yeah. I mean, they thought she was shoe in for the mayor. Well, they thought Kim oh, White oh, was too, but you know, yeah. somebody local. Okay, same yeah. name, but yeah, somebody else that's equally stupid. Um, okay. Hell, nominate Dawn. She's got brains. Wrong jurisdiction. Yep. So, fucking move. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I absolutely agree, Christopher. And I think no. it's like about four or five. Mm -hmm. The, um, I'm almost to the point where I'm getting to where I want to be like uh, Brewster's Millions. Mm. Above. That is what I've been saying for the past quite a few years. I think I've been uh, saying it too. Actually, um, Wait, I did say that on one of these shows. Chris, you stole that from me. Didn't yeah. you? No, he didn't steal it. No, he I've, I've thought he about that. He merely recycled it. Um, no, my, my ride in would be no confidence. Um, one of my favorite sci-fi writers, he writes some of the best aliens in the best, well, wrote, he is no longer with us, and I am sad about that, but L. Neil Smith came up with the concept of none of the above is acceptable, and if none of the above won, then everybody else on the ballot who was not acceptable was Can't not eligible again. to run for three election cycles, which is pretty much you're dead as a politician. If you if you have to skip three election cycles, you ain't got no money, you ain't got no backers, you ain't got no support. You're starting all over again as if you were an infant in a baby carriage. This was the point. If you were so unacceptable that no one at all to fill the office was the best choice, something wrong with your ass. And the law need to be looking into you. Well, uh, of course, you know, Keith's talking about running for mayor, but I think anybody that's totally elected should be uh, first tested for men mental stability. Mm -hmm. And two, investigated. You want to be a and then invest investigated for criminal activity. And wait a minute. Well, now, if you you're gonna get run? if you're gonna get yourself nominated, then you gotta have your your stability checked. And if you get elected, fine, lock them up in Leavenworth and check them however you want. Just don't let them anywhere near any pieces of paper to sign. Um, uh, I, I think forever. if somebody wants to be a politician, they should instantly fail the mental examination. <laughs> Look. Nobody wants to be, but sometimes people are. Sometimes somebody has to step up. Well, I think no, what a lot of, no. I think regardless sometimes. of what your beliefs are, I think a lot of people forget one thing. One of the major things when it comes to politics, I wouldn't be a politician. We're supposed to be what? A public servant. And that's one of the things that happened with the police. They decided, I'm pretty sure that they weren't going to back me because I was already ready if i'd gotten in to just clean house as far as chattanooga pd mm -hmm. and they didn't want to hear that you know nope. and like you're talking about psychiatric or like a psyche valve yes i was going to make that mandatory every six months every last one of them would have a psyche valve on top of that they would really have to explain to me looking at the budget 
why do we have six lieutenants that each make a hundred thousand dollars a year to do what? So they didn't want to hear that. I, you know, I was a bad guy for all those questions. And why do we have 67 armored personnel carriers for a town that has a population of 500? What town is that? I'm, I'm not familiar. Somewhere in Tennessee. Believe me, it exists. Uh, I believe I'm it. Pulling, I'm pull, I'm pulling numbers out of my ass, but you know, uh, I've lived in Tennessee. I know the attitudes, mm -hmm. uh, because we got two black people that live in the next County. That's why we got 67 armor personnel carriers. And I'm going asshole, excuse me. Do you read the book that you go to church and claim to have read the book? Well, Dad, obviously, you've never read the book. Yes, Dad, dear. Now, uh, now the book they read's got the American flag on it and hmm. the lyrics to God Bless the USA printed in the inside cover. That may be part of the problem. Well, when I was at uh, Saudi Daisy Junior High, um, in my last year at that school, we got our um, first black student. And a certain group of um, individuals raised holy hell about it. And they, we had to be escorted to our classrooms and because they apparently were out in the, our football field with guns and everything else. It was quite a scene. It was quite a scene. I, I'm not sure what. All I know now is that the school's closed. But I, I, my family moved from there that next uh, school year, so. Um, I, I don't know what all happened after that, but um, that was we the first year they, they, before that, before that, um, the uh, Saudi Daisy, they didn't have any, any uh, other races in, in the whole area. Not at all. Oh, I mean, and that's, I'll be very you know honest with you that is a big factor right here in uh, chattanooga they they are not the older heads uh the ones who still live on signal and and look out you know it's it's not time for that but of course you can't win if you don't play so wrong one <laughs> hit, hit delete sorry I, oh, I, 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 yeah get get your sock ready don now get yeah get your sock ready but i gotta ready do you remember this I mean, key no, plan? No, no, no. Oh, <laughs> as this is what we were talking about, this popped up in my Facebook feed. Go ahead and read. Mm. <clears throat> Which is pretty much the story. That's exactly what the IRS does to everybody. Yes. Yeah. All right. Are you ready, Don? I am ready. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> do you remember that now, Keith? I do. That was me. I do. And that's that's what, that was that entire outfit was based on was that seven <laughs> seconds. Seven <laughs> seconds. <laughs> oh. love it life is too she short got quite creative. Find the little things to have fun with in life and <laughs> oh and keith you need to stay for our outro you've never sat through a whole show have you no you uh -huh. you uh, there's chill bumps and memories when okay on our clothes on our outro mm, yeah so uh dan oh, your I, show your show I'm, last I'm, I'm, I'm already i'm already set up shut up i've already Thank set you. up we're ready to go i've i wanted to say my high school in the mid 70s people from the next county came in trying to agitate a race riot all the rednecks got together There was not anyone unprotected 
not a single black person, not a single black student was unprotected by at least three rednecks with concealed weapons. Hey. Going, these city boys ain't coming in here and threatening our people. We're us. Yeah. Now, we may have our own problems, but no, nah, you ain't you ain't fucking with, with uh, this county. And they, even the cops decided, hey, wait, nope, nope, nope. This is <laughs> Northeast Georgia redneck farm boys with guns. John, was that you there. going down and up or was that what? Is that you? You, you Okay. All right, Dan, it's time for us to say goodbye. Good night. All right. All right. I just want, I want to say to, that. Thank you. I thank want, you. I want to thank you. K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. I want to say thank you to Keith for I have Snoopy. putting yourself on the line here. You know, <laughs> the rest you of it, it, it's great to meet you, Keith and, and, and Paul. Any thank chance you. I get a chance to talk to you, it's really good. Uh, send me a link and I'll try and, and uh, or send me a message and I'll try and get you in. in Bye, my Donna. I love you. Yeah. In second. And, uh, and with that, we're going to say Good night, good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. We'll see you th Thursday at 9 o'clock. All right, guys. Slept the surly bonds of earth and danced the skies on laughter silvered wings. Sunward I've climbed and joined the tumbling mirth of sun split clouds and done a hundred things you have not dreamed of. Wheeled and soared and swung high in the sunlit silence. Hovering there, I've chased the shouting wind along and flung my eager craft through footless halls of air. Up, up the long, delirious, burning blue, I've topped the windswept heights with easy grace when never lark nor even eagle flew. And while with silent, lifting mind, I've trod the high, untrespassed sanctity of space. Put out my hand and touched the face of God.